It is Tuesday, December 10th, and we got a little something different today coming up. So, back in June, I was driving home in the good old truck there and came across a little something on the side of the road with a free sign on it and lo and behold this is what it was it's a honda hs 621 it's a four stroke ohv engine down there somewhere so you can tell by the sign it says needs new carburetor well let's see if we can fix the one that's on it now, yes, it did have a free sign on it. Well, it was taped to the handlebars. It just said free in big letters with the same crazy print thing, but kind of flew off on the way home. So, it's what, six months later, I'm finally going to work on this thing and maybe get it running, hopefully. First things first, we should check for spark. So, if we turn it around here. Open this little cover up. There's somewhere down there is a spark plug. So we'll pull that right up. And there it is, way down there. Get a spark checker and see if we can't get anything to happen. It took me a little while, but I ended up finding one. So let's give it a pull and see what happens. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to see if we find the carburetor on this thing and shoot some starting fluid and see if it pops. Also, we're going to check the oil, make sure that's topped off, and see what happens. So, apparently, the only starting fluid I had is. Um, closer to empty and it has no air left in it so I think we're just going to jump straight in and crack into the carb here. So I'm just going to have to take this shroud off, see if there's a hook or something to take this off, a little choke handle off that, fuel tank cap, and possibly those two screws there, maybe a little bit further. See how it goes. I don't believe well, I guess technically you could get to it from there. That looks like a pain. Oh, I see. I do see the bolt heads, though. I may I'll take a crack at that first. Got all the bolts out, and this thing seeming like it wants to come out now. A little spill guard or something. So, let's see what we're getting held by. It looks like we got some kind of mount up in there. And probably all the wires and stuff too. Or not wires, hoses. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So in order to get the cover off, apparently you have to still take the carb bolts out. So start unbolting the carburetor here. I already got the nuts cracked loose. So for the fuel shut off, it's mounted to the outside of the carburetor here. So I think, there we go, that comes off. And now just the uh, choke cable is catching us. whole cover should come off except for the kill switch which doesn't appear to have a connector anywhere so I think we should be good just leaving it like that for now I believe that's the intake so next we have Oh, that just came right off. I thought I was needing tools for that one. That's pretty cool. It 
has a manual. It's not manual, is it? Maybe it's a manual throttle. I don't know. It has a lever like the typical uh, engine would. Nope, oh, got one more. Come on, sit there. That looks loose. Let's see if she can. Choke lever. Let's see if that comes out. keep tugging on things until something comes apart here. <laughs> we need a flat blade screwdriver and we're going to a little clip for you guys over here. Under that guy right there is a little clip we gotta take off so when I tug on this take that clip off so clips off and as how those little spring clips typically go they shoot across the room and probably have to spend 10 minutes looking for the thing but it's awful pull that piece out and there you should be able to there we are i got a carburetor now Looks a little crusty, but doesn't look too, too bad. I've seen way, way worse carbs. All right, let's pull this carb off now. Got gasket. Magnetic, too. Metal. Where was it? Let's see. Alright, choke works. A little bit of persuasion. Take it's been on there for a little while. Getting that old gas smell coming off of this pretty good, which could be a sign it's been sitting for a while. There we are. It's mm, a lot of grossness. Alrighty, so let's see if we can figure out where we were. Had a fire call, had to leave, and about an hour and a half later, I'm back. So, appears we were taking off the carb, and I think I was getting those connectors off when the call came through. So, let's figure out how to get those off, and maybe my dog here won't get into too much. I think that's about where you guys were. So let's see if we can figure out how to hook these guys now. Oh, okay, that's easy enough. And then the spring. If I get a grip on it. Mm -hmm. There we are. Well, that shrinks a lot. 
Should come off now. Yeah, there we are. One carburetor for a Honda four stroke. So now the next thing to do would be to take the rest of the carburetor apart so we could put it over here in the ultrasonic cleaner. We've got some gas coming out of it. A little bowl. It's always when you're on air you can't find anything. What does that smell? Mm, a little old, maybe two years. A little petcock on the uh, sediment or the bowl here. Oh, it just fell off. Oh. Not sure if that's good or not. Probably not. That's kind of tight. It's a lot of gas out of that little thing. Oh, I'm still dripping. Let's close that. That's what we're looking at here. Yeah, it still smells a little bit older. So, let's see, we got a bolt on the bottom. I'm gonna assume it's a 10 mil, since that's everything else. It's actually, first let's pull off this fuel line. Might end up replacing that. Oh, I see, all right. It's a little cover through it. Come on. All right, we're gonna be replacing that, I'm pretty sure. There we Oh boy, oh boy. There goes the cup of gas. Didn't spill too much. So now, turn mill. All right. Oh, the loose got tight again. There we go. O-ring on the bottom too. All right, she's open. Let's see. What are we thinking? How bad? Oh boy. We got a light here. And that's what we're up against. But I think 
we might be able to clean that somewhat. So let's open this guy a little bit. Set that in there. Let's put the gas on the floor. A couple chunks came out of that too, actually, now looking back at it. Take a little pin. Let's see, it floats also. Not really moving well. If you put it up, it doesn't. It should be falling back down, really. What do you do? More crusties on the bottom. Oh, we're still dripping gas out. That's lovely. Don't really want to use pliers, but it's a little stuck in there for some reason. Things not wanting to come out. Maybe it's the other way. Try to set a needle nose and maybe that'll. Pretty stiff in there for some reason. Technically, I should have tried it, but I don't think it would have actually started. There it goes. Finally. Let's not lose that little guy. Here's our float is pretty stuck in there, which is also not good. Oh, there it goes. Little plastic guy. Let's see what else we could take apart. I'm hoping this isn't a fuel pump on the end here, but we're gonna find out. Threaded. Looks like just a little chamber. Oh, keep it open, anyways. All these, oh, the choking throat. Well, that's a little stiff. Oh, that's the uh, choke, though. So that's okay. I did not see where this fell out of. So I will most likely be re-watching the video there to try and find out. Oh, there it goes. I don't know where that spring came from, but that's how that goes. Alright, so we're going to Put it in here. And then somewhere we have pine saw. And that's what I will run in the ultrasonic cleaner. Seems to work pretty well typically. All this stuff falling. There you go. Regular old pine saw. Mm -hmm. There we are. A little 
Soap bubbles. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that hole bigger. Seems it's not working. Uh, a little bit better. Again, it's not one to pour. Yeah, there it goes, somewhat. Might be frozen. That could be our issue. Take that off all together. There we go. Don't need quite that much, but maybe we could reuse it. All right, so we'll plug it in and of course add water to it. Now what I'm going to do is press on and wait the 295 seconds. There we go. Alright, so i got to put it back together now. Should be clean in theory, as it ran for a couple minutes there anyways. I'm gonna start with a clean rag here. Or cleaner, anyways. That looks a little bit better in there. You can see how cloudy the water is. I'm gonna show you the dirt that came off this thing. Oh, it's still dripping over there. Everything's easier in the summer. When you do this in the summer, this stuff evaporates pretty well. Maybe that's crud or not? Or, yeah, it's all crud there. First things first, what we could do, we put this little cover thingy back on. There is. Get all lubed up, go back in. I just want to snug it up. Oh, that didn't make it in there. No, it did. Before we go crazy here, let's make sure that float's working. It seems to be moving pretty well. So little guy here and put the pin back in. Maybe. There we go. That's what we want to be seeing. And next we're gonna put this bowl back in. 
I'm gonna try to clean this out a little bit here. So, go get all that. And all this is going right into your engine. Luckily, if this carb ends up being a bust, you know, get a new one off Amazon for like 15 bucks, I think it is. So, put it back together, see what happens, and if it doesn't work, we will just get a new carb for it and send it on its way. remember that was stationed. Time to look back at videos. That drain you open and it goes down this hose most likely drops it on the ground. So we won't want to be shoving this to any nature people. But I didn't design it so you can't come after me. <laughs> Side. Yep, that's the engine side. Double check, make sure I got everything. So, let's be going to put that back on. Let's clean that off. You got a camera focus here. Went. Oh. oh, there we go. It's clogged with junk here. You can see how it's supposed to be. There we are. Big glob of junk was in the way. So this guy, a little hole somewhere up in here. Somewhere up there it is. Oh, I know why it's not working, because there isn't a throttle on this. I mean, there is, but there isn't. There we are. Now i got to figure out how to put that choke lever back on the putting this in the wrong spot it seems like it wants to go over here meaning it would be if it was turned backwards and he wouldn't be able to get to it unless it went like this let's see let's get this guy back in the spot first this guy go huh get it like that figure it out later it appears that 
it was unnecessary. Gasket. Still never did locate that piece that went flying across the room. That would be for this guy here. So, he's gonna go on like that. Maybe. Check what this thing's for in the back here. Hook on to that. What do you think? I think it must. Unless there's no hookup for the crankcase ventilator. Or valve vent, whatever you want to call it. And you gotta put the choke into the hole too. Got it. We're gonna put this top screw back in first. Figure it out here. Didn't go there at all. It went there. That's just a little pet crack you could drain your thing out. Sometimes it takes a minute, but I figure it out. So we're going to need to locate that little clip guy, so wait there. All right, so after about 20 minutes of fighting, I finally got the new um, clip on there. Gave up looking for the old one after about three minutes, realizing it was the same color as the floor, and I'll probably never find it. So that being said, I think that goes in there. Or did we not figure out that one might be it? I guess that doesn't have a home. That's a shut off. Oh, let me look back. Guess it just stays open. that wrong. I take that out so I could get in there and work on it. There we are. So next thing guess if we get this cover thingy back on. I gotta run this guy back up for the choke. So I took that off thinking I could pull it through but that's not how it choke ends up working, so. Just a little screw up in there, 11 sixteenths. Started on there. Maybe. There we go. Now I 
I have two. Sneak this cable out, that went the wrong way. Must find Phillips. up. Guess that's what it wants to go for right now. Stick down. This hair a little squeaky. There we go. Need 10 mil. Who knows, if we get to see money, I might try it in the sonar one that we're supposed to get. It's a little tight, but it works. line back on that would be pretty helpful back on so oh, there we go. it's gonna be a little crooked on this one but just how it's gonna be so Up with your 10 millimeter. Mm, that didn't go good.
go. Maybe you can or can't see it, but this next one's go right up in here. So we're caught on something else. Screw. Definitely don't want to over crank those little guys. screws for this side. Crank those down, get a socket extension going here. And same thing for the other side. And same thing for the other side. And we will yet again run the starter as I do it still wrong. Run the starter rope through. Here goes the spark plug door. Actually, one more thing I'm going to do. I'll find where all my tools are going. That's one thing I want to do. I won't. Make sure that nut that I talked about earlier is snug. I can put the door on. We 
got a choke. I think I can figure out how to turn my fuel on here. Mm -hmm. Should be on. Pretty sure it was on. I just wanted to check it. Now, last thing before we test or attempt to start this thing is we're going to check the oil as you should always do before you start an engine just to make sure that there is oil in it. I have not actually checked this, so I don't know the current status, but we are about to find out. Oil dipstick can be a pain. There we go. See, good thing we didn't run it. There's no oil in it. No, I didn't purposely do this just for video purposes. Just happened to have no oil in it for some reason. So in that case, we'll finish doing an oil change, if that's what it might need, so. I must say with these things, granted, it's metric. Everything is the same, that's 10 mil. Oh man, it's been in there a while. So here's the next question, is anything going to come out at all? I'll still put the cup in there. Ooh, first thing that actually didn't fall off the table. I've not seen anything. That's a whole lot of nothing. It's a little concerning why somebody would completely drain the oil before putting this thing out for free. Maybe they put new oil in it and couldn't get it to start and wanted their oil back. Their whole four dollars they spent on oil. But it's really not smart to reuse oil, even if you just put it in, because it still gets contaminated the slightest bit. So, as it says. Right up on here. I'm gonna go get some 530 out of the shed and we will fill it up. I was gonna do a little photo on Instagram of, for those who follow that page, the same name as the YouTube channel, but it's a little prefers what brand over the other. And so far it was most voted for Valvoline there. So I'm gonna use that. Nobody voted on the poll yet, so just asked a couple people, that's what they said, so. There we are. There's 5W30 and 5W30. Let's fill it up. Well, this is certainly getting interesting. Let's see if we could. No. Mm -hmm, a little bit anyways. Let's see. Right, we could go a lot more. Table. 
There we go. Probably can't see it now, but. Slowly going in. Slowly yeah, going we're down in. to half a quart. Why don't we check on it? Still not seeing it, so guess that means we still gotta go more. Check it again. It does have pretty good compression though, as I spring oil on myself. Oh boy. I need a bigger shop. Not even in the shop, I'm in the garage. Tonight. Yeah, that's exactly where they want. You should have it a couple threads before it starts pouring back out. And we are facing downhill a little bit, a couple degrees, so. Good thing I checked it. I was gonna wait and just do an oil change afterwards. So, let's see if the statement of that it needs a new carburetor is so. gonna be true or not. That being said, let's put it on the ground. It's an auger, so I don't think I have to pull the levers down. And it's ice cold. Make sure that choke is all the way open too, or closed rather. places it needs to get. So we were able to get it to fire as we we're gonna get the a new car for it. out. I think it's probably the best thing you do at this point. Gasoline down it. I'm gonna take it apart again to back in and re-clean it. Might as well just put a new one on there and rather not have it start again. Cause it probably will be what happen. Anyway, okay, cool. So, 
practice that was right so this will be part one then of this starting a series of the Honda HS621 four-stroke snowblower so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already You should consider subscribing for more videos just like this one and other things of course but and if you do subscribe you can click that bell and get notifications whenever i upload a new video